Quirky, retro, and offbeat, John McDonald's The Hyperions, a small indie flick, found a home with The Daily Wire. Having premiered last Thursday on their official YouTube page, with a mission to produce and distribute films that Hollywood simply doesn't or won't anymore, does Daily Wire's latest hold up? And does it set itself apart from the plethora of mundane releases we've seen from mainstream Hollywood this past year? Starring Carrie Elwes as Professor Ruckus Mandelbaum, a genius scientist and inventor of the Titan Badge. Badges designed to connect directly to a person's DNA, giving them superpowers. The film's story revolves around the Hyperions, a team of superpowered adolescents formed by Professor Mandelbaum with the film's main plot focus on Vista, former Hyperion and adopted daughter of Professor Mandelbaum, played by Penelope Mitchell. Estranged from the professor for many years, Vista concocts a plan to rob the Hyperion's museum and reclaim her Titan badge, the thing that would give her her powers back. Set in the 60s with plenty of retro 60s homages, the Hyperion's is a story about family and reconciliation. Written and directed by John McDonald, a relative newcomer to the industry, with sequences paying homage to the wonderful world of Disney, its set pieces and costuming reminiscent of both live-action and animated 60s superhero shows at the time, such as Batman, Ultraman, and Astro Boy, The Hyperions captures the aesthetic of the time, blended with modern themes and emotional plot points, and a bit of Wes Anderson thrown in as well. The film is definitely distinct and accomplishes much of what it sets out to do artistically, but isn't exactly in a class of its own either. Again, we have another film from Daily Wire that is unique compared to what we have been getting in Hollywood the last few years, but not so atypical in the grand scheme of film. While McDonald makes great use of the set pieces and animation to aid in his story, and the film is visually fun and entertaining, where it lands most is with its characters and story. Focusing on the broken nature of Professor Mendelbaum's team of Hyperions and how it correlates to them as a family as a whole gives vibes of Pixar's The Incredibles but much more messy in only the way real family problems can be. The movie's overall message strives to be a universal one, and succeeds in most ways. My biggest gripe is how cleanly certain plots and characters wrap up. While the biggest theme is forgiveness and reconciliation, the bulk of the movie highlights some real darker aspects of its characters that realistically would require more addressing. And while fixing character flaws isn't exactly the film's point, Everything is easily swept under the rug come the character's time to reconcile. Ultimately though, The Hyperions is highly entertaining. It's fun to watch and look at, and has plenty of homages and easter eggs for fans of the time period to lock onto. Using the ridiculously simple aesthetic of 60s superhero design in a real-world setting with real-world problems offers plenty of humor, and the film is genuinely funny most of the time. With a few hiccups here and there, the film is really just in need of some polishing up and fine-tuning. It's a promising start for John McDonald, and hopefully he continues to grow artistically. I give The Hyperions 3 out of 4 stars.